Hello, I'm Colin from CS Guitars and we're going to try and void a warranty. This is the PPC-108. It's designed for small guitar amplifiers, so there's lots of reasons why we shouldn't be throwing it through a very massive bass amplifier. My hypothesis is the speaker in this cabinet won't last very long when we rack that volume full. So in order to see the full extent of the carnage, we're going to cut off the grill cloth and see that speaker pop. Once that speaker blows, we're going to try and switch off the amp as quickly as possible because there is a good chance when the speaker disconnects, we could cause damage to the power section of this amplifier. Well, we did it. Not as spectacularly as I was expecting it to. The uh, cone held up surprisingly well. There's not any damage to that, but judging by the smell, whew, the voice coil must be burnt out. We'll take a look inside and find out if that's the case. We did have to push the volume pretty much all the way to get this to uh, finally fizzle out. The gain was only around three or four, so uh, if we'd pushed it harder, maybe it'd have exploded much sooner. So yeah, I think the warranty is void. So we're at the service centre and I've torn the speaker apart to find the voice coil and uh, here it is and there's been so much power going through that it's turned black and crusty and that's where that atrocious smell is coming from. So this is a good lesson on why you shouldn't put a 200 watt bass amplifier through a tiny 8 inch guitar speaker. This is warranty void.